1st January 1970, 12 a.m. is a very important date in the computing world. This day was marked as the beginning of Unix time in computer programming. 68 years later, 19th January 2038, at 3 hours 14 minutes 7 seconds will also be an equally important date in computing. This date at that exact second will mark the end of the 32-bit Unix time. As a result of this, most electronic and computer systems that follow 32-bit Unix time will stop showing the correct time and the programs and applications that use this 32-bit time counter will start giving incorrect results. Most affected will be the embedded systems which are usually designed to run for years and are complex to debug. Unless upgraded, these embedded systems which use 32-bit time will likely become obsolete in the year 2038. So what exactly is this year 2038 problem all about? You see, time is calculated in various operating systems using something known as Unix time. A Unix time is described as the number of seconds that have passed since the Unix epoch, that is the time passed since 12 am on 1st January 1970. Unix time on that day was zero and this number increases by one every second and will keep on incrementing until this number is reached. But why this specific number? Well, when we convert this number to binary, it looks like this. When we represent Unix time in 32-bit binary, we only use the first 31 bits for calculating time and one leading bit is used for representing the sign of the number. In case of Unix time, this represents the time prior to 1st January 1970. Now, when representing time in 32-bit binary number, the clock looks something like this. And guess what happens on the 19th January 2038? The 32-bit number reaches this binary number. And once it reaches this number, the next increment would flip the sign of the number, thus making the time go back to 1901, thus showing a date that was 138 years ago. So who all exactly will be affected by it? Any system that stores time in a 32-bit integer container will be affected by this bug. Functions like Unix timestamp and time underscore t function are stored as 32-bit. So those systems which still use the 32-bit versions of these functions will get affected. Many data structures used in programming today have 32-bit time representations embedded into their structure. File systems, binary file formats, databases will be affected by this bug, which in turn will pose a risk to systems that make use of this 32-bit time representation. Systems in military and medical sector have a risk of getting affected by this bug. A similar problem happened in the year 2000 when many programs at the time represented four-digit years with only the final two digits making the year 2000 indistinguishable from 1900. This resulted in programs showing year as 1900 instead of 2000. This problem was famously known as the Y2K problem or the Millennium Bug. Companies and organizations had to check, fix or upgrade their computer systems to address the problem and some computer failures were reported when the clocks rolled over into 2000. If this wasn't enough, a 2038 problem-like situation already happened when Deep Impact, a space probe launched by NASA on January 12, 2005, unexpectedly lost communication in August 2013. The computers on the spacecraft were continuously rebooting. Upon analysis, it was found out that the craft tracked time in one tenth second increments since January 1, 2000 and stored it in an unsigned 32-bit integer which overflowed on August 11, 2013, leading to the systems on the spacecraft to reboot and ultimately losing contact. Even YouTube faced the same form of bug. They used to store numbers as 32-bit integers and when Gangnam Style became the first video on YouTube to hit the 32-bit limit, the value overflowed its limit and started showing incorrect views. YouTube had to tweak the data type and change it to 64-bit container in order to solve this issue. Now the upper limit of YouTube views is a staggering 9 quintillion or precisely this number. So how does one solve this problem? Well, there is no universal solution for this. Although the most promising solution is to upgrade all the systems to a 64-bit platform as 64-bit systems already have 64-bit time integers, which would extend this problem to 15 hours, 30 minutes, 8 seconds UTC on Sunday, 4th December, 292,277,026,596. 
By this time, the universe would probably cease to exist. But the main problem would be the upgradation of the existing systems. Many communication systems and transportation systems from flight to automobiles use embedded systems which last the lifetime of the machine and may still be around when the year 2038 comes. Possible solutions for these systems is to use unsigned 32-bit integer to represent the time. But then again, this would just delay the problem till the year 2106. Another solution is to increase the size of the integer to a 64-bit, which may again lead to code compatibility issues in those systems. But what will happen when Y10K comes? When a habit of storing years in 4-digit characters comes to an end? I guess we have to wait a bit, or actually 252,346,752,000 bits to experience that. But for now, 19th January 2038 is the real pain in the